Most of the Trump children have become well known to the public over the years, but Barron remains a family outlier. The 11-year-old son of the president first captivated the eyes of the world late on election night when he stood behind his father on the stage while victory was accepted. Barron, of course, looked more sleepy than jubilant on stage, which inadvertently won over the cold hearts of an America that was mostly happy the election cycle was finally over. Who is this young symbol-like figure? It's time we get familiar with America's new boy prince, Baron Trump. He's the only child of Donald and Melania. One thing about the incoming first family to take note of is that it has a little bit more sprawl than the last one, owing to Donald Trump's multiple children by three wives. Baron Trump, the youngest of the clan, is but one branch of a family tree that includes Ivanka, Eric, and Donald Jr. Born to Donald's first wife, Ivana Trump, and daughter Tiffany, born to Donald's second wife, Marla Maples. As for Barron, he's the only child of Donald and Melanie Knaus Trump, and was born on March 20, 2006. Until recently, he lived with his mom in their Trump Tower penthouse on Fifth Avenue in New York City, while dad moved into the White House after assuming his new role as POTUS. Donald and Melania were married about a year prior to Barron's birth, in January 2005. His delayed move to the White House was because of school. As of this writing, Barron and his mother have officially joined President Trump in residence at the White House. But the reason they stayed behind wasn't because of the lack of gold plating in the West Wing. It was so Barron could finish out his year at the prestigious and very expensive Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School where he attended through the end of the school year. Reassuring him that he'd be able to finish out his year at the school that Us Weekly reports has a price tag of around $45,000 per year, Barron's mom told him, take it day by day, enjoy your life, live your meaningful life as I like to do. We're not sure the then 10-year-old Barron was able to process such a life-changing move through the lens of that fortune cookie wisdom, but he did get to finish the year with his friends and classmates. Although things at the school definitely changed after November 8, 2016. Parents at Barron's school had a post-election freakout. Anyone who has so much tried to walk near Trump Tower will tell you that Donald Trump's presidential victory has created major headaches for the city of New York. Apparently, though, few people were more worried than the parents at Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School. Some parents are freaking out and worked up about security and what the school is going to do, a board member told Vanity Fair. Some are worried about safety concerns, others are reportedly annoyed about various inconveniences like, you know, the time the school's sole elevator was blocked off for Melania for an open house event in 2016. The school even had a real-life scare scenario in March of 2017 when a lockdown procedure was put into place after a suspicious vehicle was spotted outside the building. According to the New York Daily News, a military-style bag in a beat-up blue and silver pickup truck with an Indiana license plate was reported to police as a suspicious package, triggering a bomb squad response and the school's reactionary security procedure. It's a frightening scenario for any school but one that carries additional weight when the president's son happens to be enrolled there. He's the first boy to live in the White House in decades. Now that Barron's actually made it to Washington, he has officially become the first boy to grace the halls of the White House in almost 60 years. Yep, the last time America had a first boy was all the way back in 1961, when John F. Kennedy's son, JFK Jr., moved into the White House when he was just a baby, according to CNN. And Barron made his entrance to the presidential residence in true Trump fashion, exiting Marine One and strolling across the White House lawn to his new digs while wearing a shirt emblazoned with the words the expert. And here we thought Uncle Jared was the boy wonder of the family. He's not into wearing sweatpants. As one might expect from someone born into a billion-dollar business family, Little Baron has been dressing for success pretty much his entire life. He even wore a suit to the launch of his half-sister Ivanka's book when he was only three and a half years old, according to People magazine. He's not a sweatpants child, 
Melania said while discussing her son with ABC News in 2013. He doesn't mind putting on a suit but not every day and he likes to dress up in a tie sometimes like daddy. But that's not to say that Baron doesn't like a little comfort. In fact, he sometimes pairs his prep school uniform with customized New Balance sneakers that reportedly cost $149, according to Footwear News. Yep, you read that right. The Trumps pay $149 for Baron sneakers and something called Footwear News actually exists in reality. He used to moisturize his skin with caviar. If you needed further proof that Baron isn't your typical 10-year-old, Try this one on for size, in 2013, his mother admitted to ABC News that, at the time, she applied her own line of caviar-infused moisturizer to his skin after he took his his nightly bath. It smells very, very fresh, Melania said of her Caviar Complex C6 skincare line. I put it on him from head to toe. He likes it. Unfortunately for the two of them, this tradition may have been short-lived, According to Racked, Melania's skincare line fell apart shortly after its high-profile launch. He takes after his father. Given that he loves to wear suits and moisturize his skin with caviar, it should surprise exactly no one that Melania often refers to her only son as Little Donald and Mini Donald. He is a very strong-minded, very special, smart boy, Melania told Parenting. He is independent and opinionated and knows exactly what he wants. Sometimes I call him Little Donald. He is a mixture of us in looks, but his personality is why I call him Little Donald. When he was five years old, he wanted to be like Daddy, a businessman and golfer, she added later in the interview. He loves to build something and tear it down and build something else. He is very detailed at drawing. We travel often and he remembers everything he sees. Sometimes later the same day or the next he would build something like he saw or imagine something himself. In a 2013 interview with ABC News, Melania again referred to Baron as Mini Donald, which if we're being honest, has to sting a little for Baron's older half-brother, the actual Donald Jr. He's fluent in two languages. Although he reportedly takes after his father, Baron has also inherited his mother's roots as well. According to a 2016 interview with GQ magazine, Melania revealed that Baron speaks Slovenian fluently. In fact, he speaks the language with his grandparents, who live near Trump Tower, according to the interview. Melania also once bragged to people in 2009 that at just three years old, Baron was also speaking French in addition to Slovenian and English. But two years later, during an appearance on the Joy Beer show, Melania said, Baron speaks two languages completely perfect. He goes from one thing to another, Slovenian slash English. What happened to French? Was he just not fluent enough to mention it yet? Does Baron Trump own a beret? These are questions of national importance that need an answer. He lives like a king. In her interview with Parenting, Melania also dropped the bombshell news that Barron's digs at Trump Tower are so sweet, he actually has an entire floor to himself, complete with his own personal flourishes that include the incorporation of planes and helicopters into the decor of the rest of the house. Not only that, but it was no big deal if he wanted to draw all over the walls, because we can paint it over, she said. With that kind of setup, it's no wonder that they weren't in a rush to move him into the White House. And though he's not getting his own wing of the executive residence, his lifestyle isn't exactly getting downgraded. According to Inquisitor, the White House has a staff of 100 people who will know what every member of the Trump family likes, as far as food, snacks, and personal items. This will be stocked and waiting for the family so they can obtain it at a moment's notice. Rumors even swirled that Barron's getting a golden doodle puppy, named Patton, to go along with his new home, so at least if he gets homesick, he'll have a new buddy around to cheer him up.